All right, today we're gonna conclude the series of three workouts for a sub 330 marathon. I've done two videos already, three early season and three mid season. We're gonna talk about three late season today. If you haven't seen those videos, take a look in the description. If you wanna see more videos like this, I did sub four hour series. I'm doing a sub three hour series and then sub 230. Do not leave without subscribing to this channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss. So if you're if you're first time here, welcome. Obviously, if you're a runner or coach, this place is gonna, I think, gonna give you a lot of great content. So everything from half half mile training all the way up to the marathon, all levels. And if you want fully detailed stuff, this is the place where you're gonna find it. Full seasons, training plans, everything, and workouts galore. So with that, let's get to the work, let's get to the workouts, okay? First one is five times a mile with a four minute recovery. These are VO2 max mile reps. So sub 330, I mean 330 is essentially eight minutes per mile. So VO2 max reps are essentially 50 to 60 seconds faster per rep than marathon pace. We're looking at more close to 5K training here, 5K workouts, um, but not necessarily if this is a 5K workout because of the recovery is longer. Um, a more appropriate 5K workout would be three to four times a mile at this pace with a 230 recovery or something like that, building towards two minutes. This is five times a mile with a four minute recovery at seven, 10 to seven minutes per mile. So it's more applicable for the longer stuff, but still helpful for the shorter stuff. So that's a VO2 max workout. And again, this is after a nice warm up before a nice cool down. So that's workout one. Um, number two is a speed fart lick. And I've gone over this in my other videos and a speed fart lick, I cannot emphasize how important these are, okay? Um, how it helps with marathon and becoming more efficient and um, helping to increase your stride pattern and getting at some point making the longer stuff feel easier while the longer stuff makes the faster stuff feel easier, complements the longer stuff. So um, this is 22 to 24 times one minute hard versus one minute easy. So the whole workout is no more than 48 minutes long. Okay, with your warm up and your cool down not included there. Um, and you're doing these between seven minutes, 720 and seven minutes per mile. Okay, that's the pace range for the hard efforts. And then building towards doing the easy efforts at eight minute pace or right around marathon pace. And that's a nice, that's a nice uh, fart like workout. So again, 22 to 24 reps at one minute hard, one minute easy. The hard efforts are at 720 to seven minutes per mile. The easy efforts are around eight minute pace per mile. And uh, that's a nice workout. It's again, you're progressing from 10K pace to 5K pace for the hard efforts, say. So a nice, a nice speed development workout for a marathon. So that's workout two. And lastly is a 15 to 16 mile simulation run. <clears throat> late season um, with the emphasis of, you know, seeing how ready you are. And then let's say if you're not running a half marathon, let's say four to five weeks out or no more than six weeks out, um, then this is a good way to all, uh, as an alternate, a 15 to 16 mile simulation run at goal marathon pace, which here is about eight minutes per mile. You work your way in eight minutes and 755 per mile within a five second range. This will tell you how ready you are and what tweaks you need to make um, for the last four to five weeks to get you ready for that marathon. Again, you can treat this as your longest. If it's four weeks out, you can do it as your longest long run. So if you're building towards 20, 21, 22, you can add a two to three mile warm up and a two to three mile cool down. Then you do the simulation run and there you go, you've tested yourself. And again, locking into that pace is key. If the marathon's flat, you know, and obviously this should be right spot on and you should do it on the flat. If the marathon's rolling, give yourself a little bit of flexibility within the, you know, the pace ranges because it'll fluctuate a little bit more than it does on the flats. So um, something to keep in mind, but simulate as much as you possibly can this particular workout. So that's as close to the marathon you're actually gonna run as possible. So those are the three workouts. Again, these are all workouts I've used on athletes over two decades as a coach. So with success, I'm gonna move over to a sub three hour marathon. Again, three videos, early, mid, and late. If you don't wanna miss them, you know what to do. And uh, if there's anything I haven't done in the channel, let me know. And I'll be happy to put it out as well. So um, with that, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And I'll talk to you next time.